Hello, hello my friends, and welcome back. Welcome back to Circle City. Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got just under eight and a half days as of the time of this recording until City Skylines 2 and the inevitable end of Circle City before we migrate over and do it all over again. But for now, Circle City lives. Circle City is going to need some more garbage collection. I might even put in more of these grand crucibles. I'll put one here. It's a big one. I don't know what it actually does. It creates power from garbage, so that's pretty cool. Only use large garbage trucks from the Grand Crucible, thank you. Where do they come from? Is that a garbage truck? Yes. I just want to put that there to kind of tie this area together and give it somewhere to, to dump. I don't think that this creates pollution, and these are our clean industries, so that should be okay. We are having some traffic issues here, and I think that the reason is these intersections need to be roundabouts. That should solve literally every problem, except for this. What's going on here? Are those traffic lights? How dare you? How do we fix that? Well, we can use this mod here to turn them off. Manual traffic lights. No, 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 no. We want to toggle traffic lights. And just like that, nobody ever has to stop again. Now, technically, we should probably make sure that as far as signs go here, maybe you yield. And this is just straight through. Oh, congratulations. Our lumber industry has reached level four. That's swell. Let's deal with that now. So that is still... That's over here. Okay. We have a little bit of room here, and a little bit of room here, and a little bit of room here, and then we can always expand down here. But for now, ooh, what does this button do? Huh? Nothing. Building shelters allows you to evacuate citizens. Well, we don't- oh, that's- that's for disasters. We don't have any of those. If disaster strikes, that's pretty much the end of Circle City, I guess. So yeah, these roads here, sawdust storage. So this road's just busy because it has some industrial stuff on it. So we might need to upgrade this road into an industrial road as well, just so it's got the four lanes. So traffic can kind of get by when it needs to. I know that those are commercial buildings in there, but sacrifices have to be made in order to keep this traffic flowing. And there's an upgrade to our farmland level three. So now what we should see here is unless they need to get in here and make a drop off or a pickup, they should stick to the inner lane. It does look like that's happening a little bit. Things are busy. Yeah, this is, this is all backed up again. And I think it just might be the state of things for this industrial area until it gets all caught up because we have places here where things aren't happening yet and maybe we just don't have enough ways in and out so what we could do is well let's, let's do a measurement here and see this would be industrial road four-way industrial road so we know that we want to go from here to down here which is 60 units so if we go up 60 units here that brings us to right here which for some reason doesn't quite yeah it doesn't quite line up where it should again this is why we've gotten a little bit of an issue where things don't quite line up as they should that's just the nature of the beast now of circle city it's more of a more of an oval. It's a nice oval. So we're going to utilize this as an alternate way in and out. Although I think everybody wants to come over here because of this. Is there a way that we can make this move smoother? Maybe if we put two lanes in here? Let's try upgrading this to a two lane highway. And we'll do the same here and here and here. Well, maybe not here. I mean, we will we'll just brute force it. <laughs> That's the beauty of road anarchy and I think the reason why it didn't want us to do that is because it's a little bit lower than it should be but we can just grab those like so and ever so slightly lift them up. I'm still seeing issues here. What kind of a road can we turn this into? Can we put four lanes? No, but we can turn it into one of these industrial roads. And then what we can also do is we can say, using this, actually we don't want to use that, we want to use this. So we can say that you cannot go straight through with that one, cannot go straight through with that. Both of those are fine to go straight through and both of those are fine to go straight through. So what that should do is start to move the traffic a little bit <laughs> for the ones that want to go over here. And then again, same thing here, I think. Oh, that's already dealt with, but I think that's going to deal with itself. Here is where we want to do the same thing, I believe, which is to set up the roads so that you cannot go straight through. If you're using that inner lane, you're you're turning, and that's just the way it is. You want to go straight through, you got to use the inner lane. Or, yeah, you want to go straight through, you use the inner lane. If you're turning, you use the outer lane. And this way you're not clogging up the outer lanes for people that are trying to turn. And then over here, I think in order to facilitate better merging, we block use of this third lane here. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? Is that gonna, are they going to stop trying to use that? If we do that... And then I think we want to do the same thing here, which is basically to say, use that left lane if you're going straight through. 
Yikes. What a mess we've created here. Okay, well, this is getting worse by the second, and in fact, I'll bet you it's tanking our traffic flow. We will have to fix this eventually, but I think the real problem here is that this is the only real way in and out. What we could do is get rid of that, and then say if you want to get onto that one, you can get out early. Oh wait, that's going the wrong way. Well, that's awkward. Let's fix that. <laughs> so this is just people coming in, so why are they going up this way? Is it so that they can get out this way? Hmm, let me think here. This has gotten very awkward very quickly. I think that there is a solution to this. And that is to connect this tunnel straight in. I hope that this is the right choice. I don't know that it is, though. You know what might be the right choice is to turn this tunnel into... No, because you can go out that way. Oh, jeez, what have I done? Let me think. <laughs> this is this is actually a mess. This is actually a catastrophic disaster here. These maybe need to be more lanes? No, maybe. <laughs> Let's try something. I mean, this looks like it should work, but then it doesn't. I think these need to be very specifically mapped. Where are they going? Oh, they're trying to get over here to get out. That's what's happening. I see, because this is the only way out. Okay, I think this might be clearing up. Now this is getting all stuffed up. Maybe the issue here is where they're going in. Let's try that. Well, that sort of helps. And then I think, in order to make that run a little bit smoother, what we want to do is we want to take it from here See if that helps. I think that actually what we really want to do here. Oh jeez, I've done it now. But you'll see what I'm about to do, I hope. Okay, well that's a little bit flat now. But I think what we really want to do is, if you want to get off, you gotta get off before we're starting to put more people on. Whoops. So this is gonna be wacky. Kind of the curve tool, please. Uh-oh. Is that too steep? Is that what the problem is? Let me fix that. So let's see if that helps. Because what that should mean is that people that want to get off are getting out of the way, and then people that want to get on have a nice clear lane to get on. And realistically, I might have been able to achieve this just by changing where the in and out flow was. Oh, why are they using this to make a turn? Uh-oh, what is that? Let's make sure that from here you're not making a wacky turn into the middle there. Okay, I think that's kind of what we want. Yeah, that has smoothed it out. Just like that. Well, I mean, sort of. <laughs> There's still this issue. Oh wow, that is a real issue. Oh no. Yeah, that's going to get backed up. So why is that happening? Is it because people trying to pull into this building here? Are they getting in the way? Yeah, I think this needs to move. Like, somewhere. Anywhere. Literally anywhere else further out here. Not in an industry area. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, good. Over there. Out of the way. <laughs> and that should hopefully smooth this out a little bit. I don't know what people are waiting for here. I guess they yield to the traffic coming. So maybe what I should do is, in order to stop that from happening, can I not? So then if we do that, then we can tell it to, you can only turn into there. And then these guys can only turn from there and there. And that should clear that up. Look at them floating into position. Now they're going to have to go all the way around to get out, but I think they will. Uh oh, what's going on here? What's this guy waiting for? Oh, that's going to fill up the roundabout now. Wasn't this a pickle? <laughs> this, is, this is quite a puzzle. This is the first real major traffic snafu we've had in Circle City. And there might be a simple solution like, oh, if you just get out over here, then maybe you alleviate some of the pressure on the rest of the system. So maybe that helps. I do see cars taking that route. So it's going to take a while, but if that takes some of the pressure off of this roundabout in this intersection and moves it over here, then we also don't have to worry about people that are trying to turn left here and cross traffic. They'll already be on that side from over here because they're not having to deal with through traffic because nobody's really going through over here. 
Yeah, see how much nicer that's flowing now? And I'll bet this clears up almost immediately once the backup kind of funnels through. And I'm sure that'll create a new problem somewhere else, but we'll deal with it when that time comes. For now, we do need to finish upgrading our lumber and our farming industry. So for our lumber, we did unlock something new, which I think is large sapling fields. And we'll stagger those so that it kind of spreads the traffic out. We also unlocked, is it this engineered wood plant? Cramming everything together also doesn't help with the traffic congestion, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to have everything all together. And I think this wood chip storage is new. I just want to tuck it out here. Put it on both sides <laughs> so that they can get to it from both sides. And then the forestry maintenance building, I think, is also new. So we'll just plug that in really quick like that. What does that actually do? Increases utilization rate, rate and reduces wastage of the area. So that's cool. Now, oh yes, we do have a power issue. I was like, we somehow don't have a power issue. I thought maybe everything was flowing somehow, but no, we do have a power issue. Now we unlocked medium crop fields, which fit nicely here. I think we also unlocked medium fruit fields. I don't think we had those yet. And if we did, now we have more. And then animal pastures, I think are brand new, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll put in a couple of those anyway. And we've already put in farming barracks. Milking parlor, that might be new. This doesn't particularly fit well anywhere. Maybe we'll just tuck a few of them up here. Ring of small barns, isn't that cute? <laughs> I like that, that's cute. All right, so that's our farming industry at work. We're making so much money right now. We need more housing, in fact. We need a lot more housing. Now, where else could we put some housing? Why don't we finish... So this is the pedestrian area, and then down here, we don't really have any specific ideas for how we're going to utilize this, but I think if we start putting people in here, and we'll probably mix some of the zoning here and get some more commercial too, just so that these guys have somewhere to go shopping. And also, so that they have somewhere to go work that's nearby. And I might fill in these open areas at some point, but for now, open areas are kind of nice. So we'll leave them. Do we have water there? We almost have water here. I'm just now noticing how busy this highway entrance is. That leads to this highway. It's busy, but it's not gridlocked or anything. We have crime. And what are the issues here? Not enough workers. Okay, well that's fine. We, we should have rectified that now by putting in some new people over here. And they'll be able to get to work by going down here through the tunnels. But yeah, it looks like lots, lots of issues here with not enough workers. So this should f alleviate that problem pretty quickly for us. Now what's going on over here? That's just a full cemetery. I mean, that just seems to be happening pretty consistently because we have 100,000 people living in Circle City right now. It's so big that I can't even zoom all the way out to see it. I have to use other tools to do so. I can use this and kind of angle it to be able to see the whole city, but it's not perfect. Let's take a look at the action cam, see what's going on in Circle City. Okay, well, our farm upgraded to level four. Now let's go back to that action cam and see what's going on in Circle City.
Action Cam is wild. <laughs> what an adventure. So we're still having issues with commercial goods not being available to sell and a demand that we get more industrial setup. But we've got a lot of industrial setup, so we can build a few more unique factories. Maybe we plug in the furniture factory. I mean, we could put it over here. Yeah, let's do something fun. Put the furniture factory out here, put the bakery out here, and hopefully we'll put a printing press out here. The lemonade factory, look at the size of this thing. Clothing factory, hopefully all the goods can get moved out here. Soft paper factory. Of course, we're gonna need water for all this. And then power as well. I can't just build a bunch of pipes, they actually have to be connected to something. <laughs> now we get power in here. First things first, we get that connected over there. And then I'm thinking we bring in the power from across the water there. <laughs> from this little fishing pier. <laughs> There's power coming in and out of it now. That's wonderful. So now all these are going to complain that they don't have the materials that they need, right? Not enough special goods, but they're going to get them. I think. We're making all these things, aren't we? Paper, plastics. Do we need to store them first? Or maybe we need some warehouses out here. Maybe that's another important thing. So maybe we put like a large warehouse there. Oh, you can get railway connections, right? We were going to do that at some point. Now, do I have to designate how these function? I have to specify what these use. Okay. Animal products. Flour. Paper. Planed timber. <laughs> and I might need to just be building a bunch of these things out here. We'll do it in small warehouses for now. Okay, and now I can put in the last couple of these warehouses that I think we need. I'm not even really sure if this is how they work, <laughs> but we're doing it anyway. I mean, it looks like they were going to get things eventually anyway, but this is kind of just a nice way of storing things out here for now. Not enough buyers for products. Well, there will be. Oh my gosh, we're making a hundred grand. <laughs> wow, we're rich. Circle City is indeed rich. This seems like a good place to wrap this one up. Well, we're on top of the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being a part of Circle City. Uh-oh, abandoned buildings everywhere. <laughs> Hashtag ghost town. Yeah, that's fair. This is going to be dealt with. Don't you worry. We're making a ton of money so we can fix this. Alright, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Like, comment, subscribe.